Okay, I shouldn't try dribbling with Pandev. Oh, he's managed to get past them. Still Pandev. Oh my god. That might be one of the best goals I've ever scored on FIFA. Elmas puts it back in. It's gone in. Ristovski. We need to start this guy. The journey, the grind with North Macedonia continues as we try and take the worst team in this competition to a Euros win. Last episode, we wrapped up the group stages and not too bad, guys. Six points out of the three games. Um, level with Netherlands and of course that puts us in the round of 16 and we've actually gotten a pretty favorable draw against Wales. I'm definitely fancying my chances here. Some super exciting games as well in the tournament. England, France probably being the highlight. Germany, Croatia. I'm ready for the round of 16. In today's video, we're going to wrap up the entire tournament and let's just see how far we go with North Macedonia. It could last just maybe one game or it could go all the way. So, yep, let's see. Of course, we're going to stick with the formation that's been so effective for us. I've got to say, my favorite player so far is this Betulai guy. He is insane. I think we should move him to, like, the left side because he's left-footed. Apart from that, NS body is insane. And I don't think we can forget Goran Pandev. He might have just scored in the last episode one of the best goals I've scored on this FIFA. Just insane, man. Like... The goals we saw from Goran Pandev in that last episode, also from Trikowski, it's crazy. Everything's clicking for us with this team. Of course, against Netherlands, we got absolutely clapped, but that's expected. Against Wales, though, I'm definitely fancying our chances. If you guys are enjoying this mini-series, this is going to be the last episode. So if you guys have enjoyed this journey with North Macedonia, just, you know, putting up some different content for you guys to watch. I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like in the video. Subscribe as well if you are new around here. And also, Saturday, Arsenal career mode returns and it's going to be bigger than ever. Hopefully, you guys are excited for that. For now, let's complete our journey with North Macedonia. Okay, we're up against Wales and they're not starting Gareth Bale. They're starting David Brooks instead. You know what, that's something I do love to hear. Gad Bale's having a great tournament. Dan James starts, they've got Ramsey, but how on earth are they not starting Gareth Bale for a game like this? I refuse to believe it, guys. I genuinely refuse to believe it. They're also playing a five at the back, so I guess that's why they managed to, you know, do well in their group. Because this five at the back in international football is so OP. Anyways, let's kick this one off. Honestly, guys, I'm feeling pretty confident for this one because we managed to get the better of Austria and Ukraine. Surely Wales are a worse off team, but to be fair, in real life, they're actually doing really well. Aaron Ramsey, Gareth Bale, all decent players. David Brooks, Dan James. Bit surprising that Bale isn't starting this one, but you know what? Let's see what happens here. It's going to be a good game of football. Maybe another special from Goran Pandev. Come on. And as Bardi. Oh, Goran Pandev. He's got a bit of strength as well. Shoots a lot of power. We know he's got power on his shots, but good save from the keeper. By the way, I'm not going to lie, when Goran Pandev shoots, it feels like I'm shooting with a 99 rated player. I'm not even kidding, guys. Goran Pandev, when he shoots, feels as good as anyone else, as we saw in the last episode. He's got such a broken shot, and I don't know why. It's, it's a bit mad. I think on the thumbnail, I've got like 99 overall as well. That's basically how his shooting feels. It's insane, and hopefully in this episode, we will see more of that. Okay, the Welsh team are making it forward. It's more, and they might have a chance here. We somehow... Get that one away. And as Bardi. Okay, I'm confused with Goran Pandev's uh, movement here. Like, can he please make it forward? Ademi. Now Pandev. And here goes Trikowski. Should score. And that's simple. 1-0 up against Wales. Just what we need. As that puts us in a very good spot for making it out of the round of 16 and into the quarters. This was simple. The Welsh defence just completely opened up. And the trickster himself, Trikowski has managed to score. Pandev picking up the assist here. Lovely pass right there. And bang. Yo, we might actually end up going far in this tournament. Already the quarterfinals getting there seems like a big success. But of course, the job's not done yet. A lot to play for. Aaron Ramsey now looks for more. Still more. The drag backs are working well. He's a tall lad, guys. We got to be careful of crosses coming into him. He goes for the finesse shot. My keeper wasn't looking to dive or anything, so... Well, if that was on target, we would have probably seen the equaliser from the Welsh national team. So, good thing it goes wide. Here goes Alioski. By the way, this Alioski is, is pretty good, guys, honestly. Um, now, Pandev looks for NS Bardi. Should be a goal. Off the defender and in. Yo, North Macedonia are on some... I don't even know what to say because 
They're crazy. How are we doing this? I've got no idea. Maybe it's because it's Wales, uh, Welsh, the Welsh national team, and they're probably the worst team we've faced in this tournament so far. No Gareth Bale for them as well, so... Yeah, I'm super confused. Oh, that was such a lucky goal. The deflection literally not meant the keeper. Have a look at this, guys. NS Bardi. That was probably going in regardless, but... Oh my god, the deflection literally not meant the keeper. It's go the goal's going to be given for NS Bardi. We're doing a lot. This is job done, honestly. You know what? There's no point playing this game because I think the job's done. We're just going to jump to the result and see this one out. Remind me to never do this again. Remind me to never do this again. Tunnel up, cruising, and it ends up being 4-3 after going to extra time. I'm, oh my god. Wow. Just wow. Um, Gareth Bale getting one for Wales. And uh, yeah, I think Bale brought on and that's when Wales started playing well. What a surprise. Okay, I hate my life. This is where it all goes to complete shit, as they say. We're up against Italy. Probably the favourites for this year's Euros with the way they've played. Russia, Belgium, Slovakia, Croatia, England, Spain. England managed to knock out France. What on earth is that? Croatia knocked out Germany. Some crazy results. We're up against probably the favourites for the tournament. It could all be over now, ladies and gentlemen. It could all be over as we're up against Italy. Ah, I'm not looking forward to this. Who are the players performing well for Italy? Insigne with three. Interesting, interesting, interesting. They've got Immobile with a couple as well. Assist-wise, they've got Marco Verratti. It's going to be a tough one. I'm playing some incredible FIFA right now with North Macedonia. The five at the back is really gelling with my style of play, but against an Italian side that good, I don't know if that's enough, guys. Look at their back line. It's crazy good with Chiellini and Bonucci, the experienced Donnarumma. Their midfield is amazing. Their attack is great. This is going to be a real, real test. And when we did play a team of Italy's caliber like Netherlands, we got absolutely smashed. So not sure what to expect from this one. This could be the end of our tournament and the end of this mini-series. Here we go up against Italy. Probably the most difficult team we've faced in this competition. And it could stay that way even if we get to, let's say, the final. Because the Italian national team have really found some incredible form for this tournament. Even in this game mode, they're doing really well, even in real life. I think Italy right now feel like my favourites for the tournament. And let's see how that goes. If we can get like an early lead against them, I would definitely think we've got a good chance then. As I try and find Goran Pandev, but can't. Already we're seeing Marco Verratti get in behind. This is not good. Barella has gone through. Six minutes. That's all it's taken. Six minutes as Italy make it 1-0. Wow. This video might be the shortest career mode video I've ever done on my channel, guys. It, it, it really might be. It really might be. Wow. Okay. Can expect this. 1-0 down already. Six minutes in. We got to keep it tight now. That is, I think, that's got to be the goal. We got to keep it tight because you just know there's going to be that one chance that falls to us. But until then, we got to keep it just 1-0 and hang in this game. We cannot do like what we did against Netherlands where we just kept conceding goal after goal. That's when things will become impossible for us. You know what, guys? I'm already regretting not starting the pace merchant instead of Trakowski. We'll maybe bring him on at halftime. But until then, we gotta hang on. Oh, here we go. NS Bardi. That's a lovely touch. Big chance for NS Bardi. Come on, boys. We, make, we get the equalizer. NS Bardi with the goal. 1-1 against Italy. I think it's gonna be a high-scoring game, guys. Italy with the early blow, but we've responded in the best way we know by scoring and getting that equalizer. NS Bardi with a lovely, lovely finish. That's another goal for him at the Euros. How many has he got so far? Actually a bit mental. Look at that first touch from NS Bardi there to get past the defender. And then bang, slots it home as easy as it gets. 1-1. And maybe there's a bit of hope. We just got to stay in this game, guys, and not give Italy stupid goals. And I think we've got a chance. Oh, I'm looking for Goran Pandev. Controls it. No way, no way. Come on, please, rebound. Tark Trikowski has scored. Let's go. Goran Pandev shot was stopped by Donnarumma. The rebound falls literally perfectly for the trickster himself, who somehow gets ahead of the Italian defender. I don't know how. Keeps himself onside, and it's 2-1. This is honestly a bit mental. What a finish that was. Um, or attempt, I should say, from Goran Pandev on the volley. Deserved a goal there, but Donnarumma stopped him. And I don't know what the Italian defender was doing. They're leaving the striker completely open, facing goal words. But hey, we've made it 2-1, 20 minutes in. The dream lives on. Semi-finals with North Macedonia. Is that going to even be possible? By the looks of things right now, it is. 
Marco Verratti, now uh, Berardi actually, back for Barella, the goal scorer. Still Barrera walking past that defense and almost scoring. Wait, what's happened here? Alioski looks a bit confused. He's getting a booking. For what? Okay, it's a goal kick. I just think he got booked for an earlier foul. For a moment, I thought we've given away a penalty. Hoof. Is Goran Pandev. Oh, still Pandev. How is he doing this? Goes for goal. Donnarumma with the save, but... I don't know what or not Chiellini was doing, letting Pandev just shimmy past him, but oh well. Barella, oh, that's a big challenge from Betula. I told you, man, he's probably my favorite player in this defense, as we might be able to turn defense into attack. Here's Goran Pandev. Okay, okay, a few step overs now from him. Ah, the lack of pace is evident there. Goran Pandev, I'm just going for goal from distance. He's got some weird shot, man. I've not seen a knuckleball attempt in a while on FIFA. That wasn't the best of attempts, but from distance... Goran Pandev can smash them and you just need a bit of luck. Is this actually happening? Are we actually beating Italy in the Euros with not massive freaking Donia? I think we are. Second half is going to be big. Second half, time to bring on the pace merchant. I think we need Ristovsky. 90 pace, let's bring him on. Now looks for Ristovsky, the pace merchant, back in for Elmas. Trying to find Goran Pandev. Maybe that was the wrong call. I'm still holding on to the ball with him. Still Goran Pandev. Looks to shoot. Oh, come on, Donnarumma. That could have been the goal that seals the job for us. Big save from Donnarumma. Domenico Berardi completely turns me there. And oh my days, that's audacious from him. Fair enough, Italy. They get the equaliser here and it's game on. That, that, was, that was a special goal from Italy right there. Fair freaking play to all. And yeah, I mean, Domenico Berardi just scoop turned me out of existence and then the chip shot as well to just end me. <sighs> All the hard work to, you know, get 2-1 up is now undone because now about 23 minutes to go, we're going to have to give it everything. Marella, that's a good pass. No, 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 please. No, please. No, we've worked so hard. No, man, no. It's Italy 3, 2, and 15 minutes to go. We're fighting for our lives right now. This could really end up being one of the shortest videos on the channel, guys, because, man. Oh, Italy, Italy, Italy. No. It was expected, I know, but we were leading twice in this game, I think. Actually, no, just the one time, but still, we were 2 1 up. And now, backs against the wall, 15 minutes to go. We need a goal from somewhere. And if one man can bring us that goal, it is Goran Pandev. The dribbling is neat. Still Pandev. Looks out wide for Elmas. It is now NS Bardi. Skips past Bonucci. Keeps it in. Elmas again. We're moving the ball round well. Oh, come on. Marco Verratti just robs me off the ball there. Seven minutes to go. Time is against us. And honestly, I'm losing a bit of hope. You know what, guys? Just give me that one chance. Give me one chance. And then, of course, it depends on everything. On a bit of luck as well. Oh, Pandev. Broken through. Of course, it's Goran Pandev who gets the equaliser. 3-3 against Italy. Goran Pandev has made it 3-3 as North Macedonia survive in the Euros. I, I asked for that one chance to give us a bit of hope to survive. And we get exactly that. And Pandev slots it home in style. Big, big moment, guys. 3-3. And this game could be going to extra time. And there you have it, guys. Full time. 3-3. One of the classics in the Euros with North Macedonia. I don't know how it's happened. But, hey, we're going to extra time. I can see penalties happening. But one thing I'm really uh, concerned about is the fact that Goran Pandev's going to be on his last legs here. So we might have to sub him off at some point. And that's something I do not want to do. So let's just see how we can play with low stamina. Goran Pandev. Oh, Pandev. Ah, the, the, the Florenz. Florenz, he read that really well. I was ready to just go for goal with him there. Emerson. Oh, I'm not liking this. Still Emerson. Lorenzo Insigne. Jorginho. Insigne. Oh, come on, Marco Verratti as well now. Problems here for us. Please don't concede. I would love to take penalties against Italy. Insigne is offside. He's got to be offside. He was. Oh, man. Every attack feels so scary right now. Oh, problems here for us. Problems here for us. Problems here for us. Chiesa. Insigne again. Could shoot. That pass was insane. But he's offside. No, he's not offside. I thought he was offside, guys. 
Oh, come on. 15 minutes to go. Uh, we're a goal down again. But we, we've not given up so far in this tournament. And we'll try and make it happen in, in the last 15 minutes. Second half of extra time begins. It is us playing to get to penalties. We just need one goal, guys. It was Goran Pandey who got the equalizer for us um, in, of course, the first 90 minutes. Can he do it again? Can somebody else do it? We'll see. Oh, Ristovsky has broken through here. Yeah? Ristovsky, difficult angle, goes for goal. Donnarumma with a big save. Ah, these kind of chances we've got to take, man. That was a really difficult angle, though, so... Yep, not an easy chance at all. Pandev, good pass. Oh, there's the pace merchant. Ristovsky has to score. Oh my god, what on earth's happening? This might be one of the best games of FIFA I've ever played. Italy 4, North Macedonia 4. This game is going to penalties as things stand. Just mental. Just freaking mental. Wow. Huh. Goran Pandev finds, I think, number 11. Who's number 11? Is it Ennis Body? I'm not sure. But the pace merchant has come through with the goal. 115th minute equaliser. Five minutes to survive. Oh, come on, Italy. Don't, don't, don't break my heart here. Don't, don't. Please, please, please. I think yes, I was offside. And I think that should be it. Let's just keep the ball now for the one minute and survive against Italy. Imagine we get through Italy, guys. Are we really going to have to go through, like, the quarters, the semis, or whatever the games are left? I think semis and finals, if we get there, in so much stress. I might lose at least 10 years of my life expectancy this way. Anyways, we're going to penalties. I might lose five just there. Here we go, guys. We don't really have the best of penalty takers. And Jorginho is incredible at penalties. <sighs> I need to quit. I need to just quit after that. Unbelievable. Let's hopefully score ours as well. Please, NS Body, put this one in. Put this one in. That's That might be the most perfect penalty I've ever taken. 1-1. One, one. Florenzi to take this one. Slots at home calmly. Slots at home calmly. I'm going to go left, bottom left with Alioski. Hey, let's go. Donnarumma went the wrong way. 2-2. Two, two. Crazy stuff so far. Insignia. I go the wrong way. I go the wrong freaking way. Come on, Pandev. Slot this one home. Top bins. Top bins from Goran Pandev. Off the bar and in. That's what's up. What a pin. Barella to take this one. I thought I'd stay center, but it didn't work. And now we're taking this one with Elmas. I'm going to go bottom right. I'm going to go bottom right. Hey, it's working. Every penalty so far has been scored. Who's going to be the one to choke? Raspadori slots it home. And everything now lies on this penalty for us. Bed July. I'm going to go left, guys. I'm going to go left. I'm going to go left. And oh my god, I want to cry. No! No, man, no! <sighs> Every penalty was perfect, man, so far. And then, ah, oh, come on. That is our Euro's journey done with North Macedonia. We gave it everything, I'd say. We really did give it everything. But penalties is so random, and Italy go through. Belgium have knocked out Russia. I'm actually very keen to see who ends up winning the entire Euro. So we'll definitely take some time and go through all of that. And there you go. Warning, the following teams have been knocked out of the competition. Not Macedonia's dream run. Well, quarterfinals is all we could do. And there you go. Uh, Goran Pandev being a bit unhappy, I guess, about the situation. To be fair, we played out of our, like, rank, I guess. We really stepped things up. So I'm, I'm still happy with the way we've done things. And it is Italy that end up winning the Euros. Beating Slovakia in the final. So it's a very surprising Euros tournament. Italy knocked out Belgium. Slovakia knocked out England. And it's Italy who win it all. So, yep, let's see if that happens in real life. Lukaku, the top scorer. Who do we get as the top sister? Marco Verratti. So there's no shame in getting knocked out by the best team in the competition, I guess. So, yep, so we end off the North Macedonia mini series with Italy winning the Euros. We got to the quarters, which I think is a massive success at the end of the day. So, hopefully, you enjoyed this mini series if you guys did i'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like again a quick reminder arsenal career mode resumes on saturday subscribe if you're new around here and i'll catch you all next time